All right, guys, Seahawks pick is in at 237. Final pick of the draft for the Seahawks. Only about 20 picks left in the whole draft before we wrap up here. Um, once again, we find ourselves with a shocking number of players that I really, really like still here. Like, the, the fact that Ekior Jr. still hasn't gone is shocking to me. Eli Ricks and Bryce Ford Wheaton also shocking. Gerard Clark remains. And we get Kenny McIntosh. Kenny McIntosh is the pick. Georgia running back. Somebody who didn't put a lot of miles on himself while he was at the uh, Georgia Bulldogs because of their backfield rotation. But um, interesting player. Definitely good value in the seventh round. We did need another running back. And my favorite late round running back, Chris Rodriguez, had already gone. So I'm going to say that's a pretty good pick. I don't think he was my top running back remaining, but he was definitely on the list. He was definitely somebody that at this point I think was worth keeping an eye on and is a very valid pick here. I had him as a fifth round guy. He's a little bit of a bigger and slower guy, so he's definitely going to attempt to fill that power back role that we were talking about here. So that's pretty good. I like it. Um, bottom line is this, guys. We are sitting here... And with only like 20 picks left in the day, we know there's going to be a lot of players that are very intriguing in UDFA. We have a chance to go get guys like Bryce Ford Wheaton in UDFA. Gerard Clark looks like he's going to get to UDFA. Ivan Pace looks like he's going to get to UDFA. Max Dugan, Jalen Redmond, um, Rajon Wright. There are going to be a lot of interesting guys that hit UDFA. So making this pick is kind of hard because there are going to be a lot of guys that you have the opportunity to get for very cheap. But as far as it goes, we've now completely addressed our running back situation with Kenny McIntosh. We now have a full running back room of all different kinds of running backs. K-9, Charbonnet, and, um, uh, excuse me, Dallas, and now McIntosh. McIntosh was not one of my favorite running backs, but he was definitely valid fifth round on. So to get him in the seventh round is a win, and I'm happy with it. Good draft all around. Not a whole lot bad to say here. We addressed a need. We got good value. We got a player who wasn't necessarily one of my favorites. But I have no doubt that he's worth a selection this late in the draft. All right. So that is the end of the draft for the Seahawks. But UDFA starts right after the draft ends. So I am going to go ahead and get this video up. And we are going to see what we do in UDFA in... It's probably going to be like... The way things are going, less than an hour, we start opening up on UDFA. So, good draft. Let's bring it home. See you guys soon. Go Hawks. And uh, there you go.